We've all been there. Your phone hits 1% right when you're about to pay for dinner, or your EV tells you it needs a 45-minute nap at a charging station. Our modern world is basically powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are just spicy chemical soups that haven't really changed much in 30 years. To understand the future, we have to look at the spicy present. A standard battery has three parts, an anode, a cathode, and a liquid electrolyte. Think of the electrolyte as a swimming pool that lithium ions have to swim across to create electricity. The problem? That liquid is flammable. If the battery gets too hot or you puncture it with something sharp, like a stray nail or a very angry toddler, that liquid can turn into a literal blowtorch. Engineers call this thermal runaway. You probably call it, why is my pocket on fire? There's another villain here, dendrites. These are tiny, jagged metallic spikes that grow inside the liquid as you charge the battery. Eventually, they pierce through the middle, cause a short circuit, and boom, the battery is toast. It's like the battery is growing its own internal daggers. It's very emo, very destructive, and a total nightmare for engineers. Enter the solid-state battery. We're finally ditching the liquid swimming pool for a solid separator, usually made of ceramic, glass, or high-tech polymers. It's like replacing a water balloon with a brick. You can't leak a brick, and you definitely can't set a ceramic plate on fire with a standard short circuit. This makes the battery incredibly safe. But the real magic is energy density. Because this solid layer is much thinner than the liquid setup, we can pack the anode and cathode much closer together. It's the clown car of physics. We're cramming way more energy into a much smaller space. We're talking 700 mile ranges on a single charge. Also, because there's no liquid to boil or expand, you can shove energy into it way faster. We're looking at a full charge in 10 minutes, less time than it takes to decide which snack to buy at the gas station. So why isn't your phone lasting a week yet? Well, the final boss of this technology is manufacturing. Making a ceramic layer that is thin enough to work but strong enough not to crack when the battery expands and contracts is hard. It's like trying to make a porcelain plate that is also a yoga instructor. It's expensive and making millions of them perfectly is the current hurdle. However, with giants like Toyota and Samsung pouring billions into this, the liquid era is ending. We're moving toward a world of 700 mile ranges and batteries that might actually outlast the car they're in. The future is solid. If you want to stay charged on the latest tech, hit that follow button and let me know. Would you switch to an EV if it charged in 10 minutes?